For this video, I'd like to further the discussion on combining like terms, but specifically with rational coefficients. So essentially, remember that coefficient is the number multiplied by x, in this case, 2 thirds. So now our coefficients are going to be either fractions or decimals. But just like the previous video, we're going to look for essentially terms with the same variable or terms with all constants. So here we have an x term, and here's another x term. Here is a constant term, and here also is a constant term. So we want to combine the x's. So we have 2 thirds x and we have 5 thirds x. And essentially, we're just going to add the fractions 2 thirds plus 5 thirds. And since they have the same denominator, we can just go straight across in the numerator so that you have 7 thirds x. And with our constants, we have minus 1 half plus 3 fourths. So I'm going to do that over here. Minus 1 half plus 3 fourths. We'll need to give them the same denominator. So we can use a denominator of 4. So this fraction stays the same. This one we'll have to multiply top and bottom by 2. So we get minus 2 over 4 plus 3 fourths, which simplifies to 1 fourth. So this expression simplifies to 7x over 3, or 7 thirds x, plus 1 fourth. So it's the exact same process as the previous video with combining like terms. It's just this time we have fractions and in later examples we'll have decimals. So let's go through some different example problems. And we again need to combine like terms. So for this one we have these parentheses here. So we're going to need to distribute. So we have 1 7th minus 3 times 3 7 n. And you could think of this as 3 over 1, so that you're essentially just multiplying the numerators, and the denominators get multiplied by 1. So you get minus 3 times 3 is 9 over 7n. And for the second one, you have minus 3 times negative 2 sevenths, so it would be a positive answer. And 3 times 2 is 6, all divided by 7. And at this point, we just need to combine the like terms. So we want to combine the terms with n, but there's only one term with n in it. And then we want to combine the, the constant terms. So we have 1 7 plus 6 7 The denominator is already the same, so we can just add across. We get 7 over 7. And we still have this minus 9 over 7n. And 7 over 7 is just 1. So you get 1 minus 9 over 7n. And moving to the next problem. Here we again have to distribute. So we've got to multiply the 6 into both of these expressions. So we could write this as 6 over 1, so that when we distribute, we're essentially just multiplying fractions. So we get 6 times 1, which is 6, divided by 1 times 2, which is 2, times w, minus 6 times 3 is 18, divided by 1 times 4 is 4. And we can simplify these fractions. 6 divided by 2 is just 3. So you get 3w minus 18 over 4. Each of those is divisible by 2. So we can rewrite that as 9 over 2. Or if you want, you can say 4.5. And on to the next one. So now we have decimals here. So we have our terms with d that we want to combine. And then we've got our constant term, which is essentially just going to carry along. So we want to add the coefficients, this 3.26 plus 9.75. And when adding decimals, you essentially just want to line up the decimal and add straight down as usual. So 6 and 5 is 11, carry the 1. 3 and 7 is 10, you get a 0, carry the 1. 3 and 9 is 12, plus 1 is 13. And the decimal just goes straight down in the column it started with. So you get 13.01d minus 2.65 since there was nothing to combine the constant term with. And on to another one. So in this one, we want to distribute. We'll write this as 2 over 1. So when we distribute it to the first fraction, we get 2 times 1 in the numerator, which is 2. 1 times 5 in the denominator, which is 5. And then everything times m. Now 2 over 1 into this second fraction, this minus 2 fifths. The numerators will multiply to give you 4. And the denominators, 1 times 5 is 5. And then we've got plus 3 fifths on the outside. And there's only one term with m, so we can just rewrite that, 2 fifths m. 
and there are two constant terms. We have minus 4 fifths plus 3 fifths, essentially minus 4 plus 3, which is minus 1 over 5. So this right here, 2 fifths m minus 1 fifth would be the final simplification. And we have two more problems to solve. So this one, we just have decimals again. So we have the terms with c, and then we also have the terms that are just constant. So we have minus 5.8c plus 1.4c. So we essentially have to combine minus 5.8 and 1.4. And one trick with negative numbers, like let's say at minus 6 plus 2, you can rewrite this as 6 minus 2. And then for the original problem, you'll just make that the opposite. So for this one, we can do 5.8 minus 1.4. And then this one will just be the opposite of this answer. So when we take away 0.4, our answer would have a 0.4 in it, and 5 minus 1 is 4. So our problem, minus 5.8 plus 1.4, would be minus 4.4. And so you get minus 4.4c, and then plus 4.2 minus 3.1. So let's line those up. We need to subtract 2 minus 1 is 1. The decimal goes straight down, and 4 minus 3 is 1. So you get plus 1.1. And now on to this last problem. We want to combine the m's together, and we also want to combine the constant terms together. So with the m's, we have 7 eighths m minus 2m. And for the constants, we've got 9 tenths that we're adding, and then we're taking away 3 fifths. So we need common denominators for everything. So I'm going to use a denominator of 8. So right now we have 2m over 1. But if we want a denominator of 8, we need to multiply top and bottom by 8. So this will become 16m over 8. And notice that this makes sense since 16 divided by 8 is simply equal to 2. So we have 7 eighths m minus 16m over 8. And for these, we can use a denominator of 10 since 10 is a multiple of 5. So I can just rewrite 9 tenths. And then the top and bottom here would have to be multiplied by 2 so that the denominator is 10. And now with all the same denominator, we can just add and subtract. So you have 7 minus 16, which would be minus 9m over 8. And then plus 9 tenths minus 6 tenths, so that would just be 3 over 10. So minus 9 eighths m plus 3 tenths is the simplest that we can make this.